Okay, everyone, watch as the rebel rouse her. Stop it. Once she had to come out of a closet, now she must come out of a box. <laughs> Do it! You can do it! I feel like. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> it's because this isn't safe, like. I know, come on! <laughs> you can do it! You can do it! You can do it! No! Today, we're doing something a little bit different and I'm super excited about it. If you didn't know, me, Shove, and our roommate, who I promise you exists, even though all of you think that she does not, have moved to a different location. So we moved from Belmont Heights and now we're in a different part of Long Beach. And so with that, we had to move all of our skate stuff. And we need to organize our skate stuff and try and make it all fit and consolidate into one area because before it was cute on a rack, but it was very, very messy and it ended up being just a big pile. So we got this wonderful skate rack from the OG Moxie Skate Shop in Long Beach. We're hoping that it brought with it some of its skate magic. And here is all of the stuff that is our skate stuff. I've got, I think this is an entire box of skates. Yep. I'm pretty sure this is a box. This is like leashes and laces and this is more skate stuff. And this box down here, like there, here's some like helmets, like so many helmets. We've got a huge box of wheels, derby stuff, derby awards. And we have to make sure that it looks cute. And so come along and Join us in this cute seeking venture. We have a delivery and the delivery is the thing that we're gonna put all the skates on. Check it out. With the shelf thing. Do you guys think that all of our skates will fit in there? We're gonna try. Pivot. Go to the right, yep. Honey skates. Um, 
she was like, I found a cool derby league, let's do derby. And we're like, oh, hey, let's get skates. I'm gonna buy my first roller skates. I wanted to skate some mothies. You shouldn't just start, well, I mean, should, I won't say shouldn't, but like, that shows how little I knew. I'm like, I'm gonna go to derby. I'm gonna start derby. I'm gonna get some moxie skates. I was like, I'm not gonna spend over $200 though. I knew nothing about skates, knew nothing about moxie really, except that they were beautiful. So we roll up in there and I'm like, cool. Let me try on these Ivies because that's in my budget. And I tried them on and I'm like, I don't know. They feel kind of tight. I'm not sure I know they'll break in, but I don't know. So then I was like, you know, just for funsies, like, let me try on the lolly. That was your first mistake. So I tried on the pool blue, my favorite color of lolly. And it fit like a glove and it felt so good. I was like, oh no. And then I said, credit card and went swipe. And now here I am. <laughs> no, I got my first pair of skates because I wanted to join roller derby. Well, I actually didn't even want to join roller derby. It was just like, I was bored. And my roommate um, was like, hey, I think that you should join roller derby. You would like it. And I was like, I've never skated before, but okay. And then uh, I went to the Moxie shop no, I went to orientation and then once I left orientation, I went to the Moxie shop and bought skates and they were the like little beginner derby skates. I think they were like the rock five or something like that from Rydell. But yeah, those are my first pair of skates. And then my first pair of Moxies, like my first pair of like street skates, I got because I had, we had this like competition at roller derby and it was a fundraiser and if you rose you raise the most money um you got like a gift card to the moxie shop and so i raised the second most amount of money so i got a gift card and i thought what am i gonna do with this gift card and it was my birthday coming up so i decided that i would have a roller skating rink birthday party and then i would buy a pair of lollies for my birthday and so i bought my floss lollies and now they are Green. <laughs> You're like, today's outfit was inspired by Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. <laughs> Brown and orange. <laughs> my, I didn't like my Reese's. I could pretend like it's like a bag. <laughs> I love Reese's Peanut So. What was the hardest thing you learned to do on skates? Well, so thank you so much for asking. I'm currently working on jumping the apex and that is incredibly hard. Like I'm struggling a lot with that. I don't know, It. I think it just kind of depends on, on the moment, you know? Like whatever you're working on at the moment is gonna feel like the hardest thing. The hardest thing for me to do was learn how to turn around to stop it took me over a year to do. Something so simple, but see, I couldn't just figure it out. One coat is like, oh, A, B, C. And then literally I did it like that. It was really hard for me to learn how to hit another person on skates. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like there's new challenges every day. Like skating is freaking hard. All right, we are finally done. Um, it has been several hours. I'm exhausted, Shove's exhausted. It's dark outside now. We definitely started during the daytime, but our project is complete. Yeah, we went from boxes of junk to a very pretty, beautiful display. So let me show you a little bit about we've done, what we've done. Okay, so over here we put up Shove's painting, Black Girl Magic, um, and then we have all of our helmets up here. We nailed them up and put them in a spot so they can just like be lifted up or um, be taken off. And then obviously organized and coordinated by color. And then we've got some Derby Awards right here. Shovel. And this one which spins. But during the move, she lost an eyelash, but she has survived. <laughs> um, and then this helmet that is not fitting on the wall. 
Um, and then we've created a little rainbow with our skates. I love how it all turned out. I think it looks really beautiful and clean. I feel like Marie Kondo would approve. I don't know if Marie Kondo would approve of this next part, but we did clean out a lot of stuff. So down here, we've got these boxes that Shove built and we've got, oh no, some of, the, <laughs> some of them have fallen. But we've got our wheels in here. And then in here, we have our like tools and cleaning supplies or bearing press, um, all that sort of stuff. In here, we've got uh, soon to be even more organized, but right now it's just laces and skate leashes. We got some toe stops in here and some toe covers, so decorations. And then in here we've got, don't look at it, secret queer girl straight skates stuff. <laughs> um, and then we have our don't stop skating stop sign that I got on a rollout and our ready to go bags um, that have like derby and um, skate park stuff all set out one for each of us right there so that's it um, I hope you like it it took a very long time wasn't expecting that to take all day but we did it thanks for watching this episode of queer girl straight skates don't forget to like comment and subscribe and for all of your roller skating needs from helmet to toe stop go to planetrollerskate.shop and until next time, later skaters, yeah.